Hey everybody, Coach Dale Bill here, coming to you from the house. Um, I just finished averaging a uh, the speeds on some pistol rounds, different barrel lengths, uh, from a video that I did out at the farm yesterday. <clears throat> and actually, the results are kind of surprising, but at the same time, they were not. <clears throat> now, the reason I say they were not surprising is because of the <clears throat> because of the ammunition that I was using. I was using gecko ammunition. Now this ammunition out of all the ammunition I've ever shot in my life, I'm probably thinking that this particular ammo was the whale turd of everything I've ever shot. This stuff was probably hand loaded by a monkey. I don't know, but I do know that the inconsistency in it is just off the chart. Box said it should be 900 feet per second. Okay, 38 special. Uh, you know, that, that's, that's kind of fast, but, you know. Um, no. <laughs> I got 900 feet per second one time, and that was out of my Rossi R92 with a 16 and a quarter inch barrel. So anyway, um, I'm going to edit the video. There's a lot of it that, I'm going to cut out simply for the fact that, like the camera that I had uh, focused on the uh, chronograph, I didn't know it at the time, but the glare across the screen of the chronograph was so high you couldn't even read it. And because of being right in front of me, I'm talking real loud, you know, for the camera to my right. And so it, it's just not going to be in it. So it will literally shorten the video up quite a bit. But uh, stay tuned to the end, and I'm going to add in the uh, results of the average of the different rounds and barrel lengths that I did. And um, you might be, and you might not be, surprised. But I think, wow, what a big old dove, big one. Anyway, I think had I used a higher quality ammunition, the results would have been much better. All right? Enjoy the video. Go with Steel Bill here. Talk to you at the end. Oh! Oh! Somebody's got him a coon treat over there. <laughs> hey, everybody. Go with Steel Bill here, coming to you from out the farm. What we got going on today? Well, I mean, I'm always up to something. I'm going to first talk about it. I got my trusty. Uh, Cadwell speedo meter set up down here. I don't know if there's going to be enough light to capture the uh, rounds with it or not, but we're going to try. Um, I'm going to set a camera up right here to capture the uh, speed as we go. And one day I might actually figure out how to uh, add it into the video in a side picture. One day. And then, of course, I got the GoPro, and it'll be there GoPro. -ing. What do we got going on? Well, just for fun, and this has been done a million times by many people, I thought I want to capture 357s or 38s uh, through different length barrels and speed. Nothing scientific about it. You know, you do the speeds and you write them down and you do an average. And at the end of the day, you've shot a lot of ammunition and you've had a lot of fun. So what have I got here to work with? Every one of these revolvers are Taurus revolvers. 357 model 605, 357 model 66, 357 model 65, 357 model 627. And of course, if I got 357 or 38s with me, I've got my R92. So <clears throat> nothing more than just sitting here at the table with uh, different barrel length handguns and shooting at the steel down there whether i hit it or not it's really kind of irrelevant but i just wanted to see what the what the uh fit per second would be between a two inch barrel four inch barrel four and a quarter inch barrel and six inch barrel and of course 16 and a quarter inch barrel Y'all hang on. All right. So the ammunition we're going to be using is uh, this Gecko. 
okay? It's 158 grain jacketed hollow point, and these are 38 specials. Um, you know, and, oh, and they're saying that, uh, 900 feet per second, and I'm thinking that's probably out of a, probably at least a six inch barrel, but let's find out. All righty. I have absolutely no idea. Oh. Um, anyway, never mind. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with the two inch. This is the Taurus model 605. And I said it has a two inch barrel. I have five rounds in each one. I'm not going to keep score. I'm going to let you keep score. And then I'll review the tape later on and do an average and add it into the video once I get back to the house. All right, so again, Gecko 158 grain, 38 specials, out of a 2-inch barrel Taurus model 605 revolver. And here we go, first shot. 823. Seven ninety-seven. Get yourself back up here. Where's Luna? Luna ain't back there. I know she's not back there. She's up at the house. Seven eighty-three, or is it the same reading? I didn't see it change. Eight fourteen. Seven twelve. All right, that's pretty good spread on those. <coughs> pretty good spread. I'm thinking the ammunition is not as consistent as they claim it is, but uh, then again, too, like I said, two inch barrel. Let me lay this over here and grab another one. The next one I'm going to shoot is the Taurus model 627, came in 357. Of course, I got 38 specials in it. The reason I'm shooting this one next is because it has a ported barrel, and the other one that has the uh, four and a quarter inch barrel, it is not ported. So I figured this will be the lower energy as opposed to this one. Same ammunition. Eight thirty six, eight fifty eight, seven eighty four, eight thirty nine. All right, so we did a little bit of an increase there. Ah, this one. 
does seem to have a little bit more consistency to it. But then again, too, I'm the last person on the face of the earth to tell you what the first reading was. And that's why you put it on film. Okay, last but not least in the handgun department, we got the Model 66. Again, loaded with the uh, Geckos. Now, the Model 66 has an adjustable rear sight for windage and elevation, and um, it is also a 7-shot, and uh, just like the uh, 627. Let's see what it'll do. It's speed. I can't see it right now. 8.23. Eight fifty four, eight forty four, eight sixty one, eight forty six. All right, this is a smooth shooting little gun right here. So there we got it. Uh, the difference is I can't right now even begin to tell you what the first, very first shot was to the second one. But now, let's break out the uh, lever gun. And I'll put five rounds in here. And let's see what the difference between the revolver and the levers are. I'll be right. Actually, I got five rounds in it, but I'm going to run six through it, because I had six of these, um, six of these rounds left. The rifle, my R92, chambered in 357. We're shooting 38s in it. Speed comparison to the revolver. Oh crap, I forgot I burned my battery out in this. Oh well, that's what I forget uh get for forgetting. <clears throat> Alrighty. This for speed, because I'm gonna have to wing anything I shoot at. Seven thirty four. That can't be right. Eight oh nine. Nine oh three, and we finally got up to nine. Eight seventy two. Eight eighteen. I think that was the last round. Yep. So really, not a giant increase between the uh, handgun. Especially with a six inch barrel moving up to a sixteen and a quarter inch barrel. That surprises me. That surprises me a lot. Huh. Well I'll be dog. Cold steel bill here coming to you from out of the farm. Thank you very much for joining me for this this little fun afternoon shoot 'em up. Hey y'all. <laughs> Hey, lordy, lordy. Au revoir, mi amigos. Adios. Bye. All right. So I've done the math on this um, chronograph, and this is one of the reasons I think that the biggest inconsistency or the greatest average difference is probably the ammunition more so than anything else. Um the ammunition was totally inconsistent to me out of every length of the barrel. So out of the Taurus 605, the average came up to 785, all right? That was um, 3,929 divided by 5, all right? And out of the 627, the average was 840. That's 4,201 divided by 5. Um the average 
the average on the Model 65, which to me performed better than any of them, um, was 4,300, or excuse me, the total was 4,309, and the average came out to be 861 and a quarter. Um, and then for the Model 66, it came out to be, the total was 4,228 divided by five, and the average came out to be 845, which was a, a drop from the uh, 65 to, to the 66, which has a, a longer barrel. And the R92 it is the one that surprised me the absolute most, going from a pistol barrel to an enclosed uh, 16 and a quarter inch barrel carbine in a rifle. Uh, the total on it, now I divided this by six. When I shot, it wasn't five, it was six rounds. But anyway, the total was 4,899, and the average was 816, which was a drop of 29 from the uh, Model 66. All right, and the drop from one barrel length to the other, uh, the drop from the um, 605 with the two-inch barrel to the uh, 627 with the uh, ported barrel was 55, or excuse me, the increase. I, I, I said drop, but I meant increase. And um, from the 627 to the 65, um, there was an increase of 21. And from the uh, 65 to the 66, there was a drop of 16. And from the 66 to the uh, R92, and this is one that really surprised me, there was a drop of 29. I honestly believe that it was the um, ammunition and not so much the barrel length that had the greatest effect on the averages and the speeds because like I said, this ammunition was so inconsistent. <laughs> In my mind's eye, I can just see a bunch of chimpanzees with some hand loading equipment, no scales and just a dipper and averaging it. All right, everybody, that's it. Coast Steel Bill here coming to you from my, from my toy room. <laughs> Everybody's got a toy room, right? Okay, au revoir, amigos, adios. See you when I'm looking at you. Bye. Watch these gold dots work. 357, two inch Chevy. I love a Taurus revolver. I don't really care much for the hand or for their auto loaders. Or really any auto loader. I mean, you know. Uh, I sure as hell don't want to be carrying around no lunkin' ass 45 APC. Or anything that has 12, 13, 14, 15 rounds. Polymer. Use the, the Civil defense rounds that I really, really like, about 1,600 feet per second aluminum rounds. Man, I don't want to carry no amble around on my hip all day long. So, thank you very much for joining me out here today. We got a new donkey. Uh, donkey, we got two donkeys about a month to two months ago, and <clears throat> come out the other day, and, and guess what? <laughs> we had another donkey. Never knew she was knocked up.
all right but anyway you got three for two Joel steel bill here coming to you from the range i love you mean it au revoir mi amigos adios bye